on the wire because then it could be separate from uh, separate from the connector and then then it might not work at all or it might be loose and that's why the they come off pretty simple or pretty easily of course this one doesn't so I'm gonna go ahead and take my pliers and then um, like I said just grab it here and then pull it out like so and I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of them and then um, I'm gonna continue on later. Alright, I go on ahead, I went ahead and disconnected all of my nine of my buttons. Like I said, I left the uh, joystick connected because I'm gonna keep it and as far as I can tell right now, I won't need to disconnect it. If I do, well, we'll, we'll see what happens when that comes about. So, um, if I don't stop, keep hitting my camera. In order to take these buttons out, um, Let's see if I can get a closure shot in there. You can see, should be able to see, there are two tabs holding it into place. There's one here, and then there's one here on the other side. And maybe, is that one a little better to say? I don't know. Well, they end up, let's see if I can, there we go. Yeah, I'll zoom out a little bit. So, these two tabs, or what hold it in the place, and they're uh, kind of, mm, they're loaded, nah, not spring loaded, but they'll retract, uh, or they'll expand once you put them into place, you squeeze them. What we're going to do is squeeze them together and then push them back through the hole. Um, the first one's usually the hardest, uh, well, especially the first time putting them, getting them through, is usually the hardest. Doesn't really matter which way. This one actually came out really easy. Uh, but here's the button by itself. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. You might have to, uh, you know, cuss a little. Actually, these are coming out way easier than I did last time for my other controller. But like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and take take these out, and then when I'm done with that, I'll be back. Okay, that, that actually came out a lot easier than um, for my last controller that I modified. Um, yay, Kwamba, I guess. Um, so, the next part is to take off this panel right here. And then, if you look, or if you can see, there is a screw here, screw here, and there are six total. Um, you're gonna, we're going to have to take those off and expose or take off the panel or the uh, plexiglass and it's black with uh, the button coordinates on here is uh, here to the plexiglass now if you have the time and the energy you can actually try or successfully take off the artwork from the plexiglass and use it I am not going to be that uh, patient I bought one that's pre-done, and um, that way it saves me a lot of time and energy. I might actually go ahead and later on try to do it, but um, uh, I want to try to get this on as quick as possible. So, um, if you do have this Kwamba stick, these original screws have um, glue on them, and on top of them is a black sticker. So, you're going to have to carefully remove those, um, and I get, the easiest way, you know, shove it in there and you kind of indent the screw, uh, the uh, sticker, and then you turn a little bit in the, and then you should be able to take, you know, your needle nose or if you have nails, you should be able to dig it. The glue came out a lot simpler than what I was hearing it came out, um, so also positive. So, I'm going to go ahead and take those out, but be careful. Uh, real quick about this plexiglass. I did actually end up scratching it because when I was I was scoring it around the sticker, um, I ended up slipping and uh, there's a little scratch here. Uh, it's not terrible, but um, like I said, I am going to put on a new one anyway, so it's not that bad. So I'm going to go ahead and take these screws out and then I'll be back. Alright, going ahead and taking out the screws and let's see what happens. Alright, like I said before, 
This is adhere to it. This the uh, the design that comes with it. Not terrible, but like I said, I wanted to personalize it. And um, when I get the chance, I guess you can find a corner or find a spot um, and peel it off. I think you can use um, nail polish remover and uh, some plexiglass shiner. And like I said, I don't have the time or the energy to do it today. I might do it later on. Um, but that's that. So, um, next what I gotta do is, um, obviously when I printed this job up, it didn't come pre-cut, it just came out of a big sheet. So what I'm gonna do is now cut out all the holes, pre-cut cut all the holes for the screws, the buttons, and the joystick. Um, uh, and then it should just slide right in. Um, if you go to Focus Attack, Dot com's website um, you can go and get the um, the template for the Quamba I think they also have other templates too uh, I think sure you can also have it it has a, the template and along with other ones um, or I can send it send it to you either way just uh, if you want if you're interested in where you can get it or or you want me to email it to you or whatnot uh, I don't know just write it in the comments and uh, I'll try to get it out to you as quick as I, I can. So, um, go ahead and set this up, and uh, I'm going to start cutting it, uh, all the holes out. So, Okay, I went ahead, and um, I took my art, and I placed it on top of something that I don't mind cutting. In this case, it's newspaper. And um, I put the old plexiglass uh, on top of the art, and uh, that way I can just go around... Get some nice straight edges, cut out all my buttons, and uh, cut out for the uh, holes that are needed to hold it in place. So, um, like I said, I'm going to grab my X-Acto knife, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out, and uh, I'll pick this back up as soon as I get all the, uh, all 10, what, uh, 16 holes cut out. So, um, get back to you as soon as I'm done this. Okay, now uh, I cut it out and uh, dry fit it into place and uh, looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this, the plexiglass I, I bought, which was only like $14, uh, into place. Screw it back on and then start reassembling uh, uh, the whole stick and put the buttons back on and uh, test it out. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but each side has some plastic on it. So what I'm going to do is take off the bottom side, what's going to go face down. I'm going to wipe it off with a cloth, just, uh, just to get anything uh, off of it. Because, uh, my dog's hair seems to go everywhere, even when they're, where they're not, so, uh, it is kind of a hurry up and put it on and hope for the best type of thing. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, when I put it on, I'll show you the next step. Okay, now that I got back, I got into place, I'm going to take this, the last layer of plastic off, like such. And then uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put the screws back into place. And... With plexiglass, it's best not just to uh, put it in just so it's snug. Don't have to over tighten it because it will crack, it will break. Then you're out of uh, out of luck. All right, so let me go ahead and do that, and then I'll pick it back up. Okay, I got that back on uh, screwed, and uh, it looks pretty good. So now I'm going to put the hardware back on, and. Um, well, these are what it came with, the white button and white holder. Um, I'm going to try to make it a little more uh, fit the theme of this Marvel thing. And, and I could have done it one of two ways. I could have bought new buttons, which uh, they range anywhere from, what, $2 to uh, like $5 a piece times 8 or oh, 9 if you count the star button. Uh, you know, you're looking at... Well, another twenty to to forty dollars easily you can spend on buttons. Um, 
but I've 